What's going on guys, welcome back to another vlog here in sunny Florida. This is going to probably be the last vlog of the vlog series here. Oh, there we go. Had to refocus. But um, today, we are going to Fort Myers. We're doing a day here in Fort Myers. Uh, and then we got the weekend, and then Monday we go home. So over the weekend we're probably just going to chill a bit more, and we might try to go to Siesta Key. I don't know really what the weekend brings, but I know today we're going to Fort Myers doing the Edison Museum that's there, just taking a look at the town, and then I think there's a minor league baseball game or something we're doing tonight. I don't know too much, but I do know we're going to the Edison Museum, which is pretty cool, because it also has Henry Ford integrated in it, because they were friends, and they had a winter house here in Fort Myers. So it's about an hour away, so we're getting ready to go. Um, yeah, let's hit the road and see what today has to offer. tree behind us there. Look at that. All these roots. In the compact car parking, which I'm assuming since a Chevy Tahoe is in compact parking, we are finding compact parking. And we get the nice shade from this gorgeous tree. Look at this. This is so cool. The tree just wraps down there and then there's a statue of Edison in there. Uh, all these roots are just dripping off the branches like that. It's so amazing. So they got these statues all over here. Mr. Edison gets to come in and chill under his tree. I want to know how old this tree is because this is amazing. Just look how far back in it goes. Oh, look at all the lizards all around. Uh, and there's Mina Edison. I guess that was his wife. And she liked plants. So now there's a bunch of plants over here. Right by the tree. So apparently there's some outside portions here and then inside portions. I think we're gonna do the outside stuff first and go inside. So we're crossing the road here, the traffic. We got Bentley's, we had a Ferrari go down the street over there. Yep, we're back in back in the nice Florida car area. We got Orchid Lane. Logan Berries. Logan Berries, yeah, there's an in Well what's the house? is that the main house over there? Oh. The right is one of the oh, and it's right down, the water's right down there. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So the entirety of this place is a bunch of flowers, gorgeous houses, and there's a few cars of Fords in the garage that's over towards that way. But this little fountain over here seems like a pretty simple fountain. Some rocks. Whoa! I just noticed this thing. It's a big plant. They were just hanging it though. I don't know. I don't know where it came from. Big bamboo. Very cool. Wow! So this was their little pool hangout. Oh, it was like an infinity pool too. Oh my gosh! That's pretty cool. 
That'd be a really cool pool now because you got the ocean out there. These big houses or condos. Oh, when they were here, none of that was Oh, yeah, but I like it more with that. Yeah. This garden reminds me of the Selby Botanical Gardens because all these, you're right on the ocean. And you got all these big buildings up around you and the big royal palms. Very tropical, extravagant place to be. Look at that. More of these big, big rooted trees. Look at that. It's like a beautiful day out there. Nice day for boating. Look at this guy. He's back there. They're just chilling. They're ducks. Uh, they're probably not like duck ducks, but yeah, these condos here have their own boat slip out there. A bunch of nice boats out there. And we're under the pavilion here. Oh my gosh, these there are, are so many ducks. ducks. These look like normal ducks, but that's The other ducks weird, were like tropical they ducks. Like red on their feet red. Red. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not these guys who are coming yeah. out? Look at those ducks feeding on whatever's in there. And we got a coconut tree right here, coconut palm. It's a nice area. It's very tropical. Hey, so there's more fruit over here. Yeah, the flowers are. That's what the flowers are from. The fruit are cool. And look, you can see. I like how they just grow on the side. The form here. And look at this tree. It's got all these lumps on it. It's huge. It's a pine, I guess. Look out, you can actually see the boats now over in that uh, harbor. Some really big ones. A lot of money out here. Fort Myers. Look at this tree, this thing is huge. It's a big fig tree and there's dead figs like everywhere, but the roots of these trees, it's just amazing. But it's huge. And yeah, all these dead figs. It smells bad, but... And then, there's another pretty view out to the ocean. A lot going on over there. These little palm trees over there. We've got some cactuses or cacti, aloe plants. I love all the tropical plants. So now this is Ford's estate up in here. Now in here we have some Ford's. We got Molly's, the truck, the Malti truck. Another Malti truck over here. Itself. I did, yeah. I think it's amazing that they just tacked on some wood and made that the cab. Like, yep. All the all the same chassis. The only wood. Oh yeah. It came as a box. Right. It came on the back of it. It's just amazing how simple everything is. Oh. Yep. Simple. Yep, yep. Just a little bit of electronics. In this engine here, there's an oil pan on this engine. There's a statue there. Amazingly simple. There's the Henry Ford statue right outside that garage. And there's apparently going to be more cars, so that's good. But yeah, pretty cool. So you can get a good look at the houses here. We'll be back to get a closer look, but they're very thin. Very thin and pretty light and probably nice, probably nice cool breeze coming from this water. Alright, so now that we've seen all that stuff outside, we got some lunch. And in here, we're going to do the guided tour, which will give us a more in-depth look at everything. This little place very nice and cold in here. We got Ford lunch. Alright, got a lot of Fords in here as well. Okay. Good. We'll be back. These are where the really nice ones are kept, I guess. It smells so good in here. Does it? it smells like old leather and just old. old we meet out here on this uh, porch. Alright, so this is. Oh, no, we haven't been through here yet. It's beautiful. Now, here's the garage over here. We've electrical experiments. See where the Model T was kept when he lived here. So we just told that apparently Edison never drove his Model T. 
which is ironic. Right, so now we're getting close up to the house. You can't go there inside, but... There is a photograph on that mantle of Edison sitting like in a chair in his front yard up in his home in uh, New Jersey. So he did have a big mansion up in New Jersey. Again, this was the winter estate that they stay at. This looks fresh. Um, the building, though, the neat thing about the building we talked about, there's no train service to Fort Myers. Uh, there's no lumber mills. That's cool. Myers, so that Myers, yeah. The lamps are original. Oh, wow. And so any bulb over fit there. Uh, really? Yes, he made it so any bulb would yeah. fit his yeah. lamp. Yeah, that's pretty smart. The phonograph. Pretty nice house. Here's a bedroom. Uh, but uh, wow. for the most part, though, the, you know, the exterior... You know that view he gets every morning. Yeah, if you come over here, you'll see. The like side you can kind of see the sun. Yeah. bathroom back I said all he has to do is visit here, you know, this time of year. Feel the same Tiny thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Got that nice old house smell. Uh, Some more so, yeah, uh, yeah, usually got outside, outside uh, of this room. Like well water. Right there. Yeah, yeah, water. This is a really cool walkway into the guest house over here. Yeah, he, he actually does hold, well he did, and, uh, and it's actually made, from his work on that carbon bunch transmitter that would which really eventually cool. lead to his work on his side. So they say that the guest house is the dining room and nice. the kitchen. It's just as nice, but it's got, this is where they would eat every day, not in their house, in the guest house. Yeah. Like old record player right there. Beautiful man right here. I think the guest house is almost nicer than his own house. It's such an extravagant dining room. And then when they, when they doubled the okay. kitchen in here. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is the cool oh, yeah, view yeah. of the dining room. The grand windows out there that look over the water. It's a heck of a view to eat with. Actually, so this building cool to the right they literally is were next door neighbors. Just um, one gate separating that. Here's Ford's okay. house. I love how Edison, it's all gray and red, and this is just one solid color. And then Big so Ford's, exactly. yeah, Ford's, Ford's guest here. house was just a bedroom. And then, uh, this home was built just put over uh, here. They still got some of the hurricane so shows now in those windows because of. So Elsa kind of like just coming through here. Oh, when you look inside, yeah, it's craftsman. It's like an archer craft nice. bungalow. And uh, a lot of like neat spots. It's the same the porch, year that he bought this property. And he just tried to come down the river to his new house, but he couldn't get here. Uh, the boat was too mm -hmm. big to go down the river. But we got, oh, billionaire, yeah. we got billionaires going to outer space now. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. The house is pretty long. Uh, but one thing I'll mention is that, you know, so the family lived here for 40 years, but they didn't do it. So this is the the gift shop, which was a part of his house, I believe, or his property. So this over here is the laboratory where they made some rubber for tires, or tried to, because Edison worked with Firestone, and that's a museum. Wow, this is his entire lab. They don't really let you see much, but there. They use the Edison bulbs in here, too. Maybe so they had a dark room for photos, but big old windows. So I guess they had to shade it up. Uh, I'm trying to make all the... Here's all the different plants they tried to use for the rubber. Let me stretch it out over there. Pretty cool lab. Now this was Edison's office. Oh, all the bottles. Here's this old uh, five window coupe. Oh, it's got the split rear window, okay. So yeah, this is really rare. Could use a good paint correction though. Yeah. Look at all the scratches on the windows from going up and down before they put the little uh, seals in there to stop that. Such a, it's still a simplistic car, but beautiful body. This was like the shift in motoring from boxy carriage to an actual automobile. Hmm. Yeah, this is literally just a carriage on a frame with a motor. Motorized carriage. And then this was the one that was Thomas Edison's. This was the one that was kept on the premises. Some of the batteries he made. He's very big into batteries, anything electronic. Oh, and the Ford V8.
I don't see anything like. Look, even the belt is spray painted. It, it looks like they just took a can of spray paint to everything. But no joke, I think some of the best sounding V8s were the flatheads. Little fire engine in here. Oh man, we got a uh, Model T van in here. That's pretty cool. Oh, these are cool. Cool coffee maker. Oh, it's like a bakery van. That's awesome. More old cameras over here. The truck wagon. That's what it is. Now this has some gorgeous paint. So that's pretty much all from the museum and it spits us right back out here. The main thing, walk back to the car and head on out. Alright, so we're further down McGregor Road now, on Boulevard, which is this nice boulevard with all the Royal Palms. Checking out some shops in here, one of my mom's friends' shops. And further into Fort Myers. stop here in Fort Myers we got the boardwalk it's called Times Square but there's Fort Myers Beach out there it's a very nice beach the pavilion on the pier and all that and that's got like all food and stuff so we'll probably do dinner out there and then all up and down this street which goes up against the Gulf um, Estreano Gulf or something like that there's shops and stuff so a fun little nighttime activity. Alright, so this is the pier, it's called Times Square. It's got the clock in the middle. We got some show going on right now. There's backs right up to the beach. It's nice, there's not many piers and or boardwalks like um, in New Jersey and all that, and this is one of them. It's like that. Oh, there we go. Sunset. Tiny Alright, we chose a nice little spot here. The sunset back there. Beach out there. Alright, we're in Dairy Queen now again. So as you can see out there the night light starts up. A lot of nice lights all over the place. It's a tiny boardwalk, but it's still a boardwalk. There's more of the clock lights up at night. There's this tent, they play music. It's pretty cool, more heat lighting coming in. It's really light for here too, but everyone's ready to go, so we're probably just going to get going. Back to the parking lot over there. Here in the little shopping center. There's some Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast. We took the bikes out. It's a hot ride today. going to be a hot day. Good day, just chill, go to the pool then after this. 
All right, it's another gorgeous day here in Florida. It's our second to last day here. Yesterday we didn't do much more than uh, a little bit of swimming and uh, you know had some fried chicken for dinner. We got hit with a nasty storm though yesterday. I think the storm brought more rain than the hurricane or tropical storm that just came through here, Elsa. So that gives you a perspective of how much rain we got. I mean, and you can look at the pool here. The pool is pretty cool. And same with the lake out there. So yeah, a lot of rain and a lot of rain at one time. So everything was flooding. It was pretty crazy. But yeah, that was pretty much the extent of the events for yesterday. So I didn't record much. But today we are going to Siesta Key. So we record that. Uh, we can't really have a trip here without going to Siesta Key. It's like one of the best beaches in America. So we're going there, get some good footage, and tomorrow... Tomorrow we have to be at the airport by 6 to leave, so we do have some time to do some things. We'll probably... I think my sister wants to do mini golf and stuff like that, so we'll see what I record tomorrow. Um, but yeah, good couple of last days here, uh, and let's get going. Alright, here we are, we're back. America's number one beach. There actually seems to be some spots in the parking lot, which is really odd. Amazing indeed there. Uh, not that. But there's, there might be some in the front. What'd you say? There's some on the other side. Well, we somehow got this spot like right up close to the beach over there. It's a hot one out today. Gonna be a good day for a beach day. I think last time I was out this way was the Sarasota Boat Festival. Alright, here's our spot. It's just a key. Crowded today. It is a weekend. We've got the little tent set up and all the umbrellas. But yeah, it is packed today. The water, the water's packed as well, so. Pretty tough getting in there, but I think this is close to where we were times before because all those buildings out there. But uh we will go. Oh yeah, there's a parasailer out there. That would be fun. One of these years. The action down at the water. So many people. It's a gorgeous day though. The water looks beautiful. Yep, clearest water here of all the beaches we've been to. It's pretty cool up here. You got this tree that's just growing up. A lot of grass up here, but yeah, this is the front of the beach volleyball courts. Cool lookout up there. It's pretty nice from that sun deck. It's gorgeous. This was supposed to sit eat. But you can see the whole beach. Taking a bit of a walk down the sidewalk now from the parking lot right there. Just seeing what's down here. Just a lot of pavilions, big siesta thing. Nice area. We keep heading down. See other parts of the beach. Pretty much the same down here. Actually, I think our spot was nicer because it had that big tree. But yeah, a lot of condos going up against here. Now, if you go to the other side of Siesta Key, you get all those gorgeous houses. Like the other tip, I think this way. If you keep on going, you get those nice houses. But here, it's just all condos, which is still expensive and nice, but. Some of the houses, if you remember my other videos, they're like billion dollar houses right on the water. But you can see it up there. I don't want to get a video now because they might pull away, but it's a Harley Kinn Volkswagen Beetle. Obviously not original. I don't think they even made original Harley Kinn Beetles. But talk about a perfect beach vehicle. And yeah, there he goes. He's pulling away. But it's awesome. Perfect vehicle for this place apart from a Jeep or a Tahoe LTZ. I'd take any of them. Yes, the beach sign. And this is new. Turtle sculpture with a bunch of plastic. And a beautiful beach. Alright, well this pretty much concludes, almost concludes our day here. So yes, you can see the storms are starting to come in over there. We probably have another hour until they're here, but we're getting ready to go anyway. It's getting late and we're getting hungry. You can see down there, 
You can probably hear it too. There's a drum circle going on tonight. That's pretty cool. A lot of people are heading towards that. A lot of people are clearing out from the beach, which is nice. But uh, yeah, a couple more minutes and we'll be doing the same. It was really nice having this close up parking spot now because we were able to load everything right up. Not have to walk far with it. But yep, yeah, now the storms are coming in. Everyone's getting ready to go. So yeah, we're gonna head on out. We'll a chill night tonight and then tomorrow when we leave. Alright, so as you can see here, got everything pretty much packed up. Getting ready to go. Um, so yeah, this concludes the Florida vlog. We didn't do much today, we just swam. Uh, we had much time. I, the plane is leaving earlier than I thought, so we're just about to go now. Hit up Culver's and then the airport and fly on home. So if you guys enjoyed this vlog as much as I enjoyed making it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.